Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of Tech Tuesdays. In today's video, I'll discuss a topic that a lot of you have been requesting. How to pick a computer for photo and video editing. But before we get to the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel guys and hit the notification bell so you stay updated on future videos. Now when you want to buy a new computer, you have two major options in front of you. Option 1 is to buy a ready to use computer or option 2 is to build a computer from scratch. Now there's no right or wrong answer here and it really depends on how much effort and time you want to put into the entire process and what your needs are. So what I'll do in this video is talk a little bit about the pros and cons of both these options so you can decide what is best for you. Option 1 is to buy a ready to use computer. And this is the simplest option and also the best if you don't want any hassles and you just want something that works right out of the box. All you have to do is decide what your budget is and also what you want to use the computer for and then you can shop around and find one that fits those needs. If you're looking at Apple computers, then your choice becomes a lot simpler. You just decide whether you want a laptop or a desktop and once you've done that, you can decide whether you want one of the MacBook Pro models or an iMac and you're good to go. With Windows, the choice becomes a little more complicated because you have multiple brands and manufacturers to choose from like Dell, HP, Lenovo, Alienware and so on. But you can still find some really good photo and video editing machines if you shop around like this Dell Precision Workstation or this Legion Tau from Lenovo. You can also get some really good laptops like this Dell XPS which has an amazing screen for photo editing as well as this Alienware M15 with some really killer specs. Of course, the options I've mentioned are a little bit on the higher and more expensive side but if you shop around, I'm sure you can find something that fits your budget. The drawbacks of buying a pre-built computer is that a lot of times you don't get a lot of customization ability. You also don't know the exact parts that are used inside your machine. And thirdly, the biggest drawback is the price. Pre-built computers tend to be a bit more on the expensive side. But then again, you're paying for the convenience of getting a machine that is just ready to go. All you have to do is buy one computer and you're set. Option 2. Building a computer yourself. Now usually this is an advanced option and something that requires more skill and knowledge. But you can pick every part that goes into your computer yourself and also shop around so you get the best price for these parts. Now doing so will make sure that you get the best value and also you'll be able to build a computer that's a lot cheaper than a pre-built one for the same or sometimes even higher performance. But deciding on the parts and then shopping around for it, it's a time consuming process and not everyone has the patience for it. Which is why this option is not for everyone. A lot of people, in fact the majority of people, will just be happy buying a ready to use computer. A big disadvantage of building your own computer is that you have to manage the warranties of all the different parts individually. If something goes wrong, you can't just contact one company for service. But if you're okay with some of these drawbacks, then building your own computer can be a satisfying and rewarding experience. But let's say you don't have the knowledge, but you want to explore the idea of building your own computer. Is there a simpler way? Well, yes, there is. You can visit a website like PCPartPicker.com and you can explore all the pre-made builds that people have already made. You can use one of these builds and just get started or customize it further. Once you're ready, you can take this build to your local computer shop and the people there will sell all the parts that you need and they will even assemble it for you. This is the best of both worlds because you get to customize your computer, you get great price for it and you can have it all assembled and ready for you so you can start using it right away. No matter which option you choose, a pre-built computer or a computer that you have customized yourself, a desktop will always give you better performance than a laptop. Now for people like us that do a lot of photo and video editing, performance is very very important which is why I will almost always choose a desktop computer to go with. I will only choose a laptop if portability is important for me and I want to do my editing while on the go and I'm moving from one location to the other. For all other purposes, a desktop will always be my machine of choice. And as a general guide, always try and get the latest generation processor, at least a solid state drive and a minimum of 16 GB of RAM on your machine so you have a good starting point and a good computer for all your photo and video editing needs. The reason I made this video is because just recently we built a brand new photo and video editing machine. I'll share the specs and all the details of that computer in a later video 
and I'm super excited to share what we could build for under 1 lakh. That's it for this video guys. Let us know in the comments below if you found this useful and don't forget to like and also share this video so we reach a lot more people. Thanks once again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.